the blood is pumped around the body in blood vessels. We call this the circulatory system, as blood is in circulation. So what exactly are blood vessels? There are three types of blood vessels. In our body, you will find arteries, veins, and also capillaries. These are the three main types of blood vessels, and you need to be able to explain how the structure of these vessels relates to their functions. A common exam question would be to recognise and describe the differences between the different kinds of blood vessel. So let's start by having a look at the role of arteries. Arteries are large blood vessels that carry blood from your heart to organs and tissues. Arteries carry blood at high pressure. This diagram shows a cross section of an artery. This vessel has a very thick wall, which is made up of muscle and elastic tissue. This allows it to carry blood at high pressure without being damaged. The hole in the middle of this cross section is the lumen, and in arteries, this is narrow to maintain high pressure. Now, let's have a look at the role of veins. Veins are large blood vessels that return blood to the heart from the tissues and organs. Veins carry blood at low pressure. Again, this diagram shows a cross section, but this time it shows a vein. This vessel has a thin wall, which is made of muscle and elastic tissue like the arteries. However, it's thinner than artery walls. Veins have got a wider lumen than arteries because they carry blood at a much lower pressure. So what else distinguishes veins from arteries? Veins have one-way valves. Valves keep blood flowing in the correct direction. This diagram of a vein on the left shows a valve that's open. This allows blood to move through. In this diagram of a vein on the right, the valve is shut. When the valve is shut like this, it stops blood from flowing backwards through the vein. This maintains a one-way flow of blood through this vessel. You don't need to memorise the names of any specific valves in the body, just know that their job is to keep blood flowing in the correct direction. So lastly, what is the role of the capillaries? Capillaries are tiny blood vessels that carry blood within tissues and organs. There are billions and billions of capillaries in the body. Substances can pass through capillary walls to and from the surrounding cells. This diagram shows a cross section of a capillary. Capillary walls are very thin, made up of endothelial cells, one cell thick. This blood vessel doesn't have the same wall of elastic and muscular tissue as the veins and arteries. The endothelial cells form a single layer that lines the blood vessels and they regulate exchanges between the bloodstream and surrounding tissues. Because capillaries are extremely thin, they maximise the diffusion of oxygen and glucose from the blood into cells. And also, as much carbon dioxide as possible can diffuse in the opposite way. This easy movement of substances across the capillary walls is why they're sometimes described as leaky. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos, and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here. Or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE Biology course. See you there.